Douglas Lima with the huge win over Roy McDonald. He's now the new Bellator welterweight champion once again. He also wins the Grand Prix, and he wins the million dollars as well. And he gets a, a whole confetti parade and the, 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 the champagne from 50 Cent. What a moment for one of the true good guys in this sport as well. He's kind enough to join us right now via the magic of FaceTime. There he is, Douglas Lima. Excuse me, Skype. I get confused. Skype, FaceTime, Skype, FaceTime. Douglas, how are you, my man? Congratulations. I'm great, man. I'm really good. Thank you. Thank you so much. So can you compare physically, not emotionally, but physically, how you felt after the first Rory McDonald fight in January of 2018 and this one? It seemed, watching it at home, that this one didn't take the same kind of toll on your body. Is that accurate? Yeah, pretty accurate. You know, uh, it wasn't exactly, you know, the most exciting fight. You know, it was a different style this time. You know, uh, he really changed up the game plan. Really good. You know, he was moving so much more, so... Hard to engage, you know, so it was less wrestling. So the body feels good now, you know what I mean? It wasn't just just sore a little bit, but it uh, feels really good. And, uh, yeah, man, ready to fight again already. Were you surprised by the way he fought? And were you surprised that it wasn't the same kind of fight, the same kind of brawl that your first fight was? Uh, yes and no. You know, I knew he was going to do everything to prevent, you know, getting kicked in the leg again. So, uh, you know, he just decided to move around a lot more. And it was good, man. It was a great game playing. It was hard to really engage, you know, and uh, land those good shots. You know, I had some great moments, of course. You know, I was still able to land a few, but not as much as I wanted to. You know, I knew he was going to ch change a lot of things. And, uh, yeah, that move movement around was really definitely good for him. But uh, we were able to win, you know, we were able to stay on top of everything. You know, I think the jabs was landing, you know, a lot and uh, doing some damage. And, you know, some of the kicks still landed, you know. But uh, you're good. We changed everything around too, man. I had a great, you know, game plan. You know, uh, my conditioning was good. So it was good. It was a good victory. You know, ever since his uh, win over John Fitch, when he talked afterwards about maybe not wanting to hurt people anymore and consider retirement... We've all been sort of scrutinizing everything that he says. Do you feel like he's a different fighter? Do you feel like he doesn't have that killer instinct anymore? I don't. I think he really, man, he's still a great fighter. You know, I've always said it, you know, even, you know, after that interview, you know, that fight with John Fitch was good. You know, he was going for some finishes, you know, he was going for some good stuff. I think he's still the same fighter, you know. I think he still looked good. He looked great against Gracie, you know what I mean? Strike, outstrike him, you know. He took him down, fought him in the ground. And, you know, in this fight with myself as well, you know, he's a, he's a tough guy, man. He's a tough fighter, a great competitor, you know. He was there to win, you know. Uh, and there was really no quitting him on that fight, you know. I thought if I kicked him one or two times, you know, he would change everything around. But he didn't show any signs of... Uh, that, you know, that he didn't want to be there, you know what I mean? So, uh, no, I think he's still the same fighter, man. I think he's, I still believe, you know, he's going to come back, you know, even better after this. Uh, you know, I think it was just an emotional thing that he was going through. But as far as fighting, of course, I think he still got it, you know. The million dollars, that's in addition to your fight purse, right? That's right. H how, how big of a life changer is this for you? Uh, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty good. You know, I still haven't cashed, you know, the check yet. I uh, still didn't let everything settle. Uh, it's kind of unbelievable. You know, I never made this much money in a fight before. So uh, let's see. Let's see when the, when that thing hits the bank. But, you know, it's it's uh, definitely a huge thing for me and my family. You know, uh, yeah, it feels good. It feels yeah. good to definitely get this type of pay. Are you, are you going to go to the bank with that big check that they gave you? Yeah, no, no, oh, that's no. That's not how it works? I, I didn't want to. I didn't even want to walk around the airport today, you know, <laughs> ask them to ship it for my to ship it for my house. You know what I mean? I'll put it in my garage, you know, but I didn't want to be in the airport with something like that where people would, you know, stop and ask questions and stuff. I bet. That's yeah, a big bullseye. I really, yeah, I mean I don't like to talk about, you know, money and stuff like that. You know, I don't wanna you know I don't want to put that out there. <laughs> so it's interesting because you win this and, and you avenge the loss. And, and now like the resume, I mean, you, you have an unbelievable resume. You didn't need this win to cement your place. But now there's, there's some chatter that you are the best welterweight in the world, that it's not the UFC champion, Kamar Usman. Do you agree? Do you think that you're now the best welterweight in the world? For myself, I agree. I agree I can beat any welterweight in the planet. 
you know, I feel good, you know, and I feel that I'm still getting better, you know, uh, definitely working on a lot of stuff, you know, uh, just correcting what we've been missing this whole time, you know, the wrestling is huge, definitely working a lot more on that, you know, my mental, so I just feel, I just feel good, I feel ready for anybody in the world right now, but, you know, of course, people are always going to say, you know, he's not in the UFC, so he's not the best, stuff like that. You know, but what can you do? You know, people still bring out, you know, losses that I have in the past, you know, so, you know, what can I do? I'm just here. I'm just fighting. You know what I mean? I believe I'm in the top of this division. You know, it doesn't matter which, you know, which organization. And I think I can beat anybody in the world. It's kind of wild that you fought on the same day as Ben Askren. He lost. Mm -hmm. You won. Your careers are going different paths now. And he's the only loss in Bellator that you haven't avenged yet. Did you did you did you find any satisfaction symbolism in that the fact that you fought on the same day as him and you won and he lost? Uh, I mean I wouldn't say satisfaction. You know I think he's an unbelievable fighter. You know he's just me having a tough time over there. You know but uh you know our fight was seven years ago. You know what I mean? Of course I still I think I can believe him. I think I can beat him today. You know without a problem. But people still talk about that fight. You know, everything I win something, every time I win something big, people bring that fight, you know. But he lost to Ben Askren, so he's not that good. Seven years ago, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm a different fighter now. He's a different fighter. You know, I wish him the best out there. I, mean, I think he still can come back, you know, and do some, you know, pull out some great fights. You know, I think, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough game. You know, he was out for two years, so I guess coming back, you know, it's hard, you know. Competition is getting harder. Uh, you know, I still think he's a great fighter. You know, definitely no excuses. You know, that time that he beat me, but today's a different story. You know, I'm a different fighter. He's a different fighter. So, you know, I wish him the best out there. I, I saw via your manager Brian Butler and also a uh, great young journalist Nolan King captured a moment that you and Rory McDonald had backstage after the fight where it seemed like you embraced and you were talking to each other. These are some photos right over here, his wife in the photo as well. What did you say to Rory and what did he say to you? Uh, man, I just thanked him, you know, one more time for the, for that fight. You know, he's an amazing guy, amazing human being. You know, uh, he's going through those changes. You know, he's a Christian now. I respect him a lot because I am one myself. And I know that's going to make him a better person. You know, uh, you know, I learned so much from the first time that we fought. You know, I already said that before in interviews and, you know, it's showing right now. You know, I became a better fighter because of that fight that we have, you know. So I'm sure this is going to be the same for him. You know, I wish him nothing but the best in the future. You know, I know he's going to come back better from that. And uh, I just wish him the best. You know, we had a good talk. You know, we didn't talk a lot, but it was a good talk. You know, so, you know, I wish him the best. So you mentioned that you're you're not injured. You, you're ready to return. How quickly, realistically... Can you return? And do you have any idea who the number one contender is? Who would be first up for you now in this new title defense? I mean, yeah, I have no idea. I know uh, Scott Coker said that Larkin might be the next fight, you know, the next contender, you know. But he also said that he's fighting rising end of the year. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe a super fight. You know, I know Musashi said that, you know, if I had beat Rory, he would come down to 170 so we can fight. But I don't know what's going on, if he's going to fight for the belt at middleweight now. Um, right now, I'm just waiting. I'm just going to take this week off, and then I'm right back in it, man. I just want to start training again, you know, uh, and fight, you know. I don't know who, I don't know what weight class, but I'm definitely planning on returning really soon, maybe by January or February. I don't want to take a long time, you know, away from, from this, you know. I'm in a good, good moment, like I said, you know, I'm still improving, and, uh, man, I actually wanted to fight in this card in December, man, the, the rising card. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's too soon. You know, it's just six to eight weeks out. So maybe I'll wait a little longer. But I want to do, I definitely want to do something like that. You know, whenever Bellator goes back there, they send some fighters. I like to do a fight in Japan. Because, you know, watching Pride was what I did when I started training. You know, Pride was my, my main thing. I've always wanted to fight there. So... Rising is pretty similar. You know, uh, I think the fans in Japan are amazing. So I just can't wait to fight there one day, you know. So, uh, but as far as the next fight, I have no idea who or where. I'm just waiting. You know, like I said, I'll take this week away, this week off, and uh, come back next week and think about everything.
Well, you don't have to worry about that now. And what a great journey it has been for you. Just 31 years old, 32 and 7 now. Your last three fights in this tournament were amazing. You win the Grand Prix, the million dollars, you get the belt back. Just a great story. And like I said, you're one of the good guys. I remember what you did for that that woman in uh, in New York City in June. Uh, your your manager shared at at the restaurant. You know, you're 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 a really good guy, and, and you deserve all these good things happening to you. So, and 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 an amazing fighter as well, and not just because you're a good guy. So, congratulations, Douglas, to you and your family on this victory. Enjoy the time off. Enjoy the belt, the Grand Prix belt, the money, all that stuff, the champagne from Fifty Cent. Enjoy everything, and uh, looking forward to this new title reign for you as you uh, as you embark on now being a Bellator champion for the third time. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everything, and uh, just keep it going. Just got to keep it going, man. I feel good, and thanks to everybody that's supporting me. You know, uh, finally getting the name, the recognition out there. You know, yes. After all this time. But, uh, you know, it feels good. It feels good to get the respect, and, uh, you know, I was showing a lot of love, you know, this week over there, fight week, you know, a lot of love, man, a lot of support from the fans, from the fighters, you know, so it feels good. It feels good to get that belt back, and. uh stamp my name out there in this division. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.